Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. These beautiful stencils are a really versatile product. They're made for crafters at a very good price and they'll make a lovely addition to your crafting stash. They're made from a really strong and durable plastic so if you take care of these they will last you a lifetime. So I'm going to be doing a mini series using each one of these stencils and in this video I'm using the honeycomb stencil. So here I have everything ready now to make my card. I have a top folded um, card, I have a mat that's going to sit on the front, the stencil is the effect that I'm going to put on this card. I have a palette knife and some distress inks that I'm going to colour the embossing paste with and here's my embossing paste. Now the reason I've chosen the Dusty Concord is because I want to add this little image that I've found in my crafting goodies. Now I've taped my stencil down to my card because I don't want this to move while I'm adding the, um, the embossing paste. And onto my craft mat, I'm going to put a good quantity of the ink. And then with my, craft, my um, palette knife, I'm going to take some of the paste and I'm going to add it to the colour. Now I'm adding quite a lot because I don't want to run out of the, the mixed colour. It would be very difficult to remix the colour to be the same. And I'd rather waste some than not have enough um, for, my, for my project. So once my colour's mixed in, I'm going to take some onto my palette knife. And like butter, I'm just going to spread this over my stencil. Just as you would if you were buttering your toast. And then once you've got all the little honeycombs covered, you can then take off all the extra paste that's in your on your stencil. So we're just going to scrape that off. Now once you've done that, you can take the tape off and remove your stencil very carefully. Remove your stencil from your card and you will have that beautiful pattern on there. So now you need to leave this to dry on one side but you need to clean all this off before it goes hard otherwise it will ruin your mat and your stencil and your craft knife. Now while your embossing powder or your embossing paste is still wet, you can sprinkle some glitter onto it if you like a different effect. So here are my two panels and I'm going to back each one of them onto some lilac card so that it just leaves a small border around the edge. Now I'm going to use both of these panels that I've matted onto some lilac card. This is my flowery one and there's my glittery one. I've added more mats and layers for the base card and that's going to sit on there and for this one I'm going to wrap it with some lace and some ribbon before I add this to my base card. Now the little girl image I've added some foam tape to the back and I've curved it with my fingers just to give it some shape and she's going to sit along there on my card and then my happy birthday sentiment I will add in around her. For this one I'm going to add in a bow and I'm going to put some flowers on this just to decorate this up a little bit more. So I've added in some flowers just to make it really feminine and I'm going to add in the happy birthday sentiment along the top. Now I like to add some glitter to my flowers so what I'm going to do is just dot this with some glue and then sprinkle it with glitter. So here are my finished cards, one with a little girl on it, the other with the added flowers on and the only extra pieces I've put on now are some pearls. But this is another one that I created in a different colour scheme and I've just used another stamped image from my collection and again I've used the little bees just to dot into the honeycomb. And I think those are really pretty cards. 
So I hope you've enjoyed the video using the honeycomb stencil from Craftstash and the three different cards that I've created. So I hope you'll join me in the next video. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.